Hi guys, um, welcome to your first proper Super Collider tutorial. Um, the first thing that we're going to go through is installation and how to check that everything's working okay. So I'll give you a couple of lines of code to, uh, to make sure that's okay. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is go to Safari. Other web browsers are available. Uh, but if we go to Safari and head to this website here, supercollider.sourceforge.net. Uh, SourceForge is an amazing online uh, resource for free and open source software, uh, SuperCollider being one of them. Um, and if we head to the download section here, uh, we can see the downloads for each of the different operating systems. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I would hit that button there. Uh, but obviously, uh, hit the one that's relevant to your system. I do have experience with Windows, but it was a long time ago, and I have never been able to get it set up on Linux properly. However, there is an excellent tutorial available on YouTube um, I'll try and hunt a link out for that. Um, I haven't tried it, but it looks like it'll work. Uh, it's very tricky to get to work on Linux, actually. But if you're if you're really going for Linux, then yeah, by all means, go for it. And um, so hit the download button, um, and you will. It shouldn't take too long. It's usually quite a small file, um, and keep checking back every now and again. Uh, we're up to version 3.5.2 uh, at the minute. It's the most recent version. It was released in May of 2012. Uh, so the download will start. Shouldn't take too long. Um, and once that's downloaded, you'll get a mountable disk image. So you do what you would usually do, mount it. And uh, you'll end up with uh, just the simple option of dragging the folder to your or the super clutter folder to your applications folder so you simply do that and you've installed super collider um, so I'll show you what happens so we've downloaded it here so we'll get rid of that because it's a big ugly photograph of Microsoft so if we go to our downloads and we click the image to mount it um, once it's doing its checks, once it's finished with the checks, uh, we'll get a little window that will pop up asking us to drag and drop it into our applications folder. I've already done it so I won't be doing it again. Um, but here we are. Here's the little window. Uh, so we simply drag and drop into the applications folder and that will install it. I'm not going to because it's already there. And then once it's there, simply go ahead and go into your applications folder and scroll down till you find Super Collider and there it's there. That's that's it. Simple as that. So if we hit Super Collider here, start it up, you'll get these three windows that pop up got the post window and you've got the local host and the internal server and um, you'll get this little bit of text which just means that it's started up properly and uh, if the last line reads welcome to super collider you're ready to go if you don't get that there's something that's gone horribly wrong uh, and it may be that you have an old version of super collider and they're clashing because they have recently changed the uh, the way the directory structure is uh, for Super Collider. So just double check that. So if we go up to File and go for New, we'll start up a new text file. Everything is just a text file in Super Collider. I'm going to make this text a wee bit bigger so it's easier to see. Um, and what I'm going to do is inside brackets, I'm going to write server.default equals server.internal put a semicolon 
I'll actually expand this window a bit so you can see it's all on the one line. The semicolon is dreadfully important as well as the capital letters, so copy it exactly. And then we set s equal to server dot default and then we tell s to boot. So if we double click just to the right of the top bracket Super Collider will automatically select everything in between the brackets. That's an amazing thing that you need to get used to. Um, so we're going to execute this code and all it's going to do is start up the audio server so we can check that everything's working. Um, so the way I do it is control C. Uh, you can also hit enter. Don't hit return because you'll delete everything. Um, enter is the big button on the numeric keypad. That's the enter button. The other button's the return button. Uh, don't hit that because you'll just wipe everything you've written. And with huge pro uh, with huge programs, that's really irritating. Um, so the one I use is Control C, and we'll get a little bit of text, and it'll basically say that everything's up and running. And as we can see in the internal server window, it says running. It's the default, and we have all the information about the server. Uh, so what we're going to do now is just check that everything that or all the audio is working and we can get sound out. So if we type, don't worry about the, the uh, what I'm typing, just go along with it for now. I'll explain it all later. Um, all this is going to do is play a sine wave at 440 hertz and um, it will just check that we have sound. So it's open curly brackets, sign ask with the capital S and capital O dot AR, and then inside brackets, normal uh, round brackets, 440 comma 0 comma 0 0.5, and close the curly brackets and then dot play. And that's all encased within our round brackets again so we can just select it easily and we hit control C and out pops a sine wave. Now you need to know how to stop it and that's command period or if you go into uh, is it it used to be in the language but they've moved it oh no it's there stop so go up into the language menu and hit stop. Uh, that will kill everything that's coming out of the audio. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much how to test uh, and see if SuperCloud is running. Uh, and the next tutorial will go into a little bit of uh, synthesis theory um, so that you will be able to understand all of this wonderful code that we've just written to play a sine wave. Um, and once that's all done, um, yeah, we'll we'll start moving on and work our way up through the tutorials, uh, and eventually we'll have you coding beautiful, beautiful programs that write amazing, amazing music. Um, so thanks very much for watching, um, and if you have any questions, use the comments. I try to reply to everything. Um, so thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.